We all know we want to get better at golf, but is listening to YouTubers that give you tips and tricks over YouTube the right thing for you to do? Should you be listening to them and are they correct? Now in today's video, we are going to discuss whether these YouTube golfers or YouTube professionals are the right people to be giving you lessons. Now I know I give off tips and tricks, so even some of this stuff applies to me and I'm not calling anyone out because that's not who I am. So today, through the course of three holes, I'm going to give you my honest feedback and honest opinion on what, who, how, and when you should listen to us YouTubers that give off tips and tricks to improve your golf. Because let me start off with this, not every tip and trick you see on the internet is going to be correct for you. And even though it may help people out, it may actually harm your golf. So let's get into today's video. So my first point when we actually speak about YouTube golf tuition and should you take on board every tip, the first thing you need to know before we even go and look at these tips are every golf swing is different. I swing it differently to Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods swings it differently to Phil Mickelson. It's all very, very individual. And the way everyone swings a golf club is very individual, which means every tip and trick that is shared throughout YouTube might not be able to be applied to your golf swing. So bear that in mind, please. You have to bear that in mind. It doesn't matter whether you are a beginner, an expert, it still may not apply to you. Four! Four! Is someone qualified enough to give you lessons? So when you actually start searching up on YouTube, I want to get better at golf, how to improve. Do you do the background checks? Probably not, or maybe you don't even know how to do the background checks, which is also fine. But just because someone is a better golfer than you doesn't mean they're qualified enough to give you tips and tricks or lessons on how to improve your golf. For example, there are world-renowned top tier golf coaches that teach some of the best golfers in the world that are actually not that very good at golf and they struggle to play to a single figure handicap but they understand the golf swing they understand how it works how it's meant to work they've done training sessions they've done everything that needs to be done but there are also people that have just played the golf and have no idea how to coach or whatever let's take a very very good group of youtube golfers for example rick shields uh peter finch these two golfers they have done the background checks. They have done all that stuff. They have done the PGA course. They are professional coaches by name. They might not be professional tour players, but they are professional coaches. So these two people, there's probably more on YouTube as well, but I'm just picking these two out because they're big names and they're very good and they're people I've watched in the past. These two know what they're on about. But what you also get from them as well is not only their qualification, but you get their skill level. They are actually very good golfers, so they'll even teach you stuff that is not in a manual or certain shots that aren't in a manual or ways to get around the golf course. So just before you start taking tips and tricks from people, do a little bit of background checks and find out a little bit more about them. So I've actually left myself an impossible shot here. I'm gonna try and be greedy and actually fly it close to the green. Um, and see what happens. That seagull is in danger, maybe. I think that's about as good as I could have played it, to be fair. <laughs> what a shot. So after a very, very scrappy second shot, we've actually got a really good positive chance at making birdie here. So let's put a good stroke on it and hold it. Ooh, only just, only just, Ooh, I think I've strained my stomach. Ooh. I think it's also key to remember, by the way, in this video, that I'm not throwing shade on anyone that gives out tips and tricks on YouTube because your tips and tricks may help people out. I'm just trying to make sure that people are aware that they're absorbing and attempting the right tips and tricks to improve their golf because again, it won't work for everyone. So no harm given to anyone. We're all friends out here. We're all golfers. I'm just trying to educate my audience. Now 
The next part to make sure of is if you're taking tips and tricks from YouTubers is understanding why you're taking these tips. Are you just clicking on the latest upload that they've uploaded and just trying to incorporate that? For example, did they upload a video the week before talking about how to get the golf club head out in front of you? If so, and you're trying to practice that into your swing, that's fine. But if they upload the next video and they're like, so I've seen a lot of people getting the club too far out in front of them. We're going to work on getting it more this way this time. Are you then taking that on board as well? Because now you're not understanding while you're doing these tips. You're just taking every tip and trying to incorporate them into your swing. This is where it becomes really difficult because if you're not a very skilled player or have had golf lessons before, you don't know the swing map. You don't know why you're doing this stuff and you're just taking on another lesson that could potentially mess up your game. So when you are looking for these golf tips, try and angle yourself towards one specific target. So if you're struggling with driving, what is it you're struggling with? Why are you struggling with it? Do you know why or how to fix it? Obviously not, which is why you're going on YouTube, but make sure you work on these one key points. Do not try and incorporate every swing tip that a YouTube golfer gives you. We've actually hit a perfect drive and I actually think these are my divots from the last video we've done. So let's hopefully try and hit a good wedge shot here. A little bit right. Pin eye, but a little bit right. Not the greatest. As you can see, not a very good wedge shot from me at all. Oh well, time to make up for it with the putt, eh? No way have I done it. Oh, right in the jaws, right in the jaws, and I just never give it the pace. Oh, you hate to see it, but you don't mind taking easy pars. So my last part before I give my verdict on whether you should listen to YouTube golfers to give take tips and tricks from, is why are you doing the tip? Like, why are you changing your swing path? What does it do? Like. Do you understand or are the golfers or the YouTubers giving you enough information why you're now turning your left side more or why you're coming from the inside? Do you actually understand this? Because if not, what's going to happen when you get on the golf course and you start to struggle? You're just going to pick out a random tip or trick and that might actually make your swing worse and hit the shot that you dislike happen more. So are you taking all this in? Are you actually looking at the golfer or YouTube going, are you giving me enough information? I don't know. I don't know who you watch, but it's something you need to think about. I mean, I'm getting the... So we've left ourselves a perfect wedge in here. Should just be able to hit a nice smooth wedge into this hole. Back, up. Okay. That's not very good, is it, Joe? Oh, not very good from us, lads. So just quickly, team, I actually split the golf ball on my last shot, which is probably why the flight was a little bit floaty. Um, so I've just switched out golf ball here. Um, obviously, we're not in a competition, but just wanted to give you an update so you don't think like I'm fiddling or anything. But we're going to hold this birdie putt or at least make a two putt and then we'll give you my, exa my full thoughts on YouTube golf tips. Not a very good putt, was it, Joe? Not very good. Lovely par. Well, lovely, semi-lovely. So, the moment you've all been waiting for, right? Should you or should you not listen to YouTube professionals or golfers that give tips to everyone? My honest answer is, it's down to you. There are certain YouTube golfers that are very, very good at the tips and tricks they give. There are specific channels that are excellent at giving out tips and tricks, but there are also some channels that don't give out tips and tricks that are very good for you. Now, the areas that it's definitely worth getting, you know, YouTube tuition from, or the reasons why it's good, is because one, 
it's free. Two, it's quite regular. Um, and three, sometimes the coaches are actually very good coaches and they probably explain it in a way that you understand and in a way you can replay the video. So you get quite a lot out of YouTube coaches. The problem comes when you don't do your research, which is what I've tried to explain to you throughout this video. You know, you, the likes of your Rick Shields, your Peter Finch, very, very good. Your Danny Mords, I, hopefully I said his name right. Very, very good at giving tips. Um, but there are some that aren't good. So it really comes down to if you find the right person, you do your due, due, due diligence and you benefit from it. And I can't be the judge of that for everyone, but just be careful with some of the tips and tricks you're picking up, ladies and gentlemen. And with that being said, it's time to end the video. So hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this style of video, please smash the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, turn that notification bell on. If you'd like to see more videos like this, um, then please let me know. Explain to me if you like this type of format, you know, me playing the course and speaking at the same time, or whether you'd just like a pure dedicated video to it. But again, thank you all for tuning in. The support on the channel has been absolutely crazy at the moment, and I can't thank you enough for that. So make sure you're all doing well, you're all playing golf, but most importantly, you're all chopping. Peace.